Hello from Newbury Orleans. Hope you're keeping well today. And today is the, uh, what day are we today? I think it's the 6th, if I'm not mistaken. 6th of um, February 2019, and today is Wednesday. Wednesday. And uh, I hope everyone is keeping well. And everyone had a nice weekend. Yes. Yeah. I tried to do a couple of videos this week, but, um, the, you know, the start and the finish was a little bit all over the place. So I said I'll come back and do it today. Now, what's happened between last week and this week? Well, what happened between last week and this week is that the magnitude of all the earthquakes around the world has increased. And each earthquake that happens is right beside a volcano, okay? Uh, not them all, but the main ones, the, the big ones, the 5.6s, them ones, the 5.5s, the 4.9s, all them earthquakes that you're seeing around the world, yeah, is uh, close to volcanoes. So you can see that they're all interacting with each other. Okay. Now, today is going to be a special day. And I'd like to say hello to everybody in the news room in RTE. Yeah. Radio, television. And I'd like to say hello to uh, the Sun newspaper in Bristol, in England. Uh, and I'd like to thank the people for taking the call. Uh, yesterday from News Talk. Um, now, what, on Monday, I have a little piece of video footage that I'm going to put up today. I decided to, uh, I got an email from a, a, a subscriber from, well, just let's say one of the old school subscribers that advised me to go back onto YouTube and start doing the videos again. That uh, the, the platform that I'm using now is more just to connect it into your website and uh, it's handy to have it as a backup. Okay, so that's probably what I'm going to have to do here because uh, 15 viewers, 20 viewers, there's obviously a ring of steel around this as well. So, yours truly, the Grim Reaper, has a little piece of video footage today that's going to open up a massive can of worms, ladies and gents. Massive can of worms. In uh, a long time ago, over Washington, there was an, arm an armada of UFOs that were seen. Okay, they were videoed. An armada of UFOs. Yeah. Well, Paulie has a video that's going to better that. Because I study it, and I, I, I've been studying this for the last four years, okay? And this video is going to open up a massive can of worms today. So I'm going to release it on any platform I can, and I'm going to send it to the relevant departments that wanted to see it. And we'll see now, does it gain traction, okay? Now, we're all, we're all sort of meant to believe that we're them, um, that we're not the only civilization out there, because there's billions of planets, uh, billions of planets, but little old human seems to think that you know we are the heart and soul of everything. Well, I'm sorry to um, tell you this now, but uh, we're not, we're not. So, hello, Vimeo. And I want to see what you do with this video today. I'm going to put a piece of video into this now. That's going to show you the sun going down. And you're more than welcome to go in and look at the webcams. Especially around Cancun in Mexico. Cancun in Mexico. Because the subscriber told me I should start watching the cameras in Mexico. And I, I, I never really did. Because I just don't have the time to be sitting there. But the beauty of it is they've got time-lapse mode, which is very, 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 very surprising. You've got one to 10 frames. So you can have a jump in every 10 frames, or you can change it to one, every one frame, every second. Now, what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you the sun as it's going down at the back of the horizon, as the sun is going down. Yeah, there's one cloud in front of the sun, just one long line, line cloud, perfect. Now, out of nowhere comes, and I recorded this video for 45 minutes, 
expecting the cloud to move. The cloud never moved for 45 minutes. In fact, this big, long, pipe-shaped object, I'm guessing, from the distance it was, was some sort of a mothership. And an armada of UFOs kept on coming out of the pipe, or whatever it was, every couple of seconds. Now, it gets better. Every couple of seconds, one of the UFOs shot in towards the sun, like it was going into refuel, or don't, or don't know, a portal, or something into the sun. And how did I know that was happening? Because I could see it. And each time one of the UFOs went towards the sun, there was an explosion. You could see it happening at the sun location, but you could also see it right along the ocean of the shadow of the sun. And the shadow of the sun continued all the way up to the beach, from the horizon all the way through the ocean. You could see the width of the sun. Each time a UFO went, there was an explosion and the shadow widened. And it's nothing to do with the camera. It's nothing to do with that because you can see them coming out. So today's video is all I got. It's going to be all about who gets to see the video. Yeah. Who's allowed to see the video? And are they going to allow it? Or are they going to shut me down? Because they're good at that. The platforms are very good at that. The Grim Reaper is here to tell everybody today that after showing this video to friends and family, I never said nothing to each one of them that I showed the video to. And I asked them, and I zoomed in, and zoomed in, and zoom, 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 zoomed in. And I said, what's that? Explain what you're looking at, I said to the people that watched the video that I showed. Explain that. I got, well, for one person, I got, that's mad, isn't it? That's mad, isn't it? I've never seen anything like that before. Another person says, oh, look, there's a load of UFOs. Look, at there's a load of UFOs. I even showed it to my daughter. And she says, look at them things, daddy, coming out the pipe. Yeah. Now imagine the pipe, considering that we're flying through space, that that cloud should move after 45 minutes, didn't. It was like they were after putting that there deliberately so that there'll be some sort of a screen. Remember, with your eyesight looking out that far, all you can see is the sun. All you can see is the sun going down. Yeah. It's only when you zoom in and zoom in and zoom, zoom, zoom in that you can see really what's going on. Folks, it's time to wake up, yeah? Okay, wake up to what's going on, okay? Right, anybody that says any different about UFOs now, right, I'm going to tell them they're full of shit, okay? Because I would nearly put my life and soul on it now that UFOs are real after watching this piece of video footage. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the link, I'll probably, explain that you need to go into webcams, you need to go into Cancun, and you can go back to the day that we done the video, uh, or that we recorded it, and you can look for it yourself, and you can see it for yourself. There's no Photoshop, this is just a live camera, okay, when the sun was going down. And I'm, I'm asking the people, okay, that's watching this video today, to go in and watch the Mexico cameras, especially over the beach, yeah, that show you the last 24 hours as a time lapse. Yeah. Change the frame rate from 10 to 1. And watch the video. Watch the video. And pause the video. And if you have a smart device, yeah. Zoom in. Okay? Zoom in. Right? Zoom in. Now remember, the more you zoom in, the harder it's going to be, but you can make it out exactly what's going on. Okay, unless you're stupid. Yeah, unless you're stupid. So, we need people like me here to remind everybody, okay, about what's going on in the real world, yeah? Unless you're stuck on some load of crap that's going on in your city, right? And your mind is being taken over by that type of crap. You need to watch what's going on here, folks, okay? And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, okay? Remember what you're looking at, 
is you're looking at the dots, the black little circles, okay? In fact, one of them is a square because you can zoom in and zoom in. Take a screenshot of it, of what you're looking at and just zoom in and zoom in. Okay, and you can see it moving across. You can see it shooting into the sun. You can see the sun exploding like a little, whatever, like it's taking a, it's taking power off the sun or something. Or it's a portal, it's coming through the sun or something like that. But each time it happens, you can see it. Okay, and uh, it's my piece of video. I didn't take it off nobody at the end of the day. I've been studying it. And the Grim Reaper's here to remind everybody that it's wakey, wakey time, wakey, wakey time, yeah? Watch what's going on. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. I've been busy all over the weekend. I had the Six Nations, had this, that, and the other. The rugby was on, obviously, that took up the weekend. And uh, we had uh, Monday, we had 15 degrees. Uh, Sunday, we had zero degrees. Monday, we had 15 degrees. Went up 15 degrees in the space of uh, 12 hours or something like that. Nobody said nothing about it. Yesterday, they uh, they came to the whole sky all day. Um, every time there was a little bit of a gap, you could see it. And you could see that the flights that were coming from Atlanta uh, that were actually doing it. So remember, chemtrails don't exist. Uh, flu doesn't exist. All the other things don't exist. Everything is fantasy land. Yeah, except I don't live in fantasy land. So until tomorrow, ladies and gents, uh, Paulie saying uh, real news for real people. And uh, see us. All the best.